Extreme Trends presents A man finds a $2 fake baseball card and then realizes it's the real deal. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. There are a lot of people who enjoy collecting things, and most of the time there's no limit to what they will collect. The most common would probably be collecting books, but collecting stamps, coins, and baseball cards have been popular since the 1840s. Collecting things seems to come pretty naturally to some people, and it's a proven fact that certain things are considered collectible and can become extremely expensive. There are certain things required to get the most money for your collectibles. The first thing to remember is that the item must be pretty rare, because the more uncommon an item is, the more money it's worth. Also, the item has to be in mint condition. The age of the item is also pretty important as well. It's also the most exciting aspect of collecting things to many people. This story is about a man who seems to be fond of collecting cards particularly baseball cards. When the man found an old card in the shop, he could barely keep his composure. Throughout the years, the man had seen plenty of baseball cards, and he developed a good sense of picking out originals. He was educated about his favorite hobby, and when he noticed something that everyone would think was fake, the man knew better. Dale Ball from Visalia, California started collecting baseball cards when he was a small child. He was interested in everything about baseball, but his absolute favorite part was collecting every and any card he could find. Over time, he ended up collecting an incredible number of them. He also believed he could spot a fake anywhere, but his careful eye would give him a run for his money when he visited a store in Sparks, Nevada. While he was looking through the card collection at the store, he noticed a card of the most famous baseball player that there ever was, none other than the great Babe Ruth. The Shotwell Company made the card in 1921, but the card was so interesting because of how rare it was. In fact, the owner of the card didn't even think it was real, and this is why. I can't find it anywhere on the internet. I think it's fake, the store owner explained this to Dale, and that's when Dale knew that he had to immediately buy the card, and you won't believe how much he paid for it. Dale paid a whopping $2 for the card that could ultimately change lives, and this was all because the card was assumed to be fake, and no one thought anything more about it. Dale took the card home and immediately started the process of getting authenticated. Oh my gosh, it would be an amazing card. Looking at the condition on this card, it looks really nice. A card from this era, a Babe Ruth, if you get it authenticated, gosh, twenty to $30,000 would not be out of the question, said a local shop owner of bases loaded sports cars and collectibles, but Dale didn't think so. Dale believed the store owner was estimating the price based off of the E21 version of the card. The card that Dale found was actually the Shotwell W575-1 Babe Ruth card. You know, the one that everyone is looking for because it could be worth millions of dollars. But the first step was getting it professionally graded by the Beckett Company. Then Dale could get a ballpark figure of how much it was worth. As it turns out, the card is worth millions. When Dale got the card back from the Beckett Company, Dale was told the card was truly the rarest Ruth. God blessed me and I intend to bless the guy that I got it from. I will go back to the store when it's all over and give him proper payment. Dale adds that if that's the case, I told him, Chris, my family's welfare depends on it. Bidding starts at two million. But now, Dale is more than happy to keep holding on to the rare card. Maybe he's planning on keeping it for his son's expanding baseball card collection. After all, it would be quite the collection, especially since Dale had started collecting when he was a kid. It has to be a bit difficult to sell something that you've been collecting for your entire life, especially for a little bit of money. But Dale was looking at a lot of money. Dale has already turned down three different multi-million dollar offers for the card. He has refused to sell it or even give an idea of what he'll be doing with the card in the future, and that's honestly something that surprises a lot of us. You know, if you were given that card, would you sell it in a heartbeat? There has to be something else going on with Dale. A person who truly collects things will have an emotional connection that makes money and time worthless compared to the joy that comes with each object. And what's better than owning things that make you happy? The thrill of chasing something that you desire is the biggest motivation for collectors. It may start out as a small interest or hobby, but when you add the thrill of the chase to it, the collection and excitement tend to grow rapidly. And this is what causes collectors to search for rare pieces, just like the Babe Ruth card that Dale found. There are some collectors out there that don't have the desire to finish their collection. After spending years of your life collecting something, would you want it all to come to an end? What would you do if you had nothing else to collect? So some collectors will only look for things in person instead of searching on the internet. 
Whatever reasons that Dale has for refusing to sell the baseball card for millions of dollars are his and his alone. But the world, and most definitely the store owner, will be looking out for where the rarest Ruth is going to end up. Thanks for watching! If you want to see more shocking stories, just tap one of the next two videos on your screen.